what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys uh here we're an interesting one here somebody seen this comment a couple of days ago that checked out this video uh fox news tried to go after denmark big mistake um news the news here in the united states is different you know of course they report things and you know whether it's tragedy excitement and different but sometimes they just be reporting stuff that it makes no sense to report. But you got to go to work and you need a story for the day type of thing. So we finna see, check this out, see what it's about. Uh, I just know, I don't know. It seems like nowadays what things supposed to be about is not about, for instance, the NBA. Uh, you got journalists and stuff, reporters. You would think they'll be asking basketball related questions. Nowadays, they're asking questions about people's personal life and it. it it don't make sense to me. It don't make sense, but let's check out why they try to go out to Denmark. Socialism and he said big mistake. There's something rotten in Denmark. Fox News host Trish Reagan has made a story in which she compares Denmark to Venezuela. Denmark what? like Venezuela. How can you even make that comparison? Like I see you can you can probably draw differences, stuff like that, but compare? ...has stripped people of their opportunities. Okay, let's just clarify a few things. Trish, you're wrong. You can't compare Denmark to Venezuela. We have a welfare state in our country. This means that our society provides opportunity for people. Mm -hmm. It doesn't strip people of possibilities in their life. And no one wants to work. This is a real problem. This is not true. According to the OECD, Denmark rates 11 places higher wow. than the US unemployment rate. The difference. Sorry for stop. This is a key thing. Uh, Consider this was this was before COVID. This video, I don't know how long ago this video exactly was, but I know it was before COVID. After COVID, I'm sure we went from 19th place to like 20th or 50, between 20 and 50. We went somewhere like that because, kid you not, I know people personally that stopped going to work, that stopped working because they were just getting money from the COVID stuff. Like, it's crazy. It's 11 places higher than the U.S. People unemployment in, rate. People do the not want to work here in the States. That in Denmark, people are paid a decent wage. School's free. University's free. That's lovely. Actually, it is. But you see, not only is school free, they actually pay you. Not bad, eh? That is not bad. That means that it's not the size of your parents' bank account right, right. that decides whether or not you get an education. It's your hard work. It's your talent. It's your motivation. Well, you know what happens then? Nobody graduates from school. They just stay in school. <laughs> of course, people graduate. According to World Economic Forum, Why wouldn't the list people of the best graduate? educated populations, we rank number six. Quite a oh. bit better than the U.S. Sorry. Nowadays. If school were free, and even if people wanted to stay in school, like you got to think of the the resources that a school, a university, still have for people. You know, cause we got we. <laughs> We got a lot of schools here in the States, a whole lot. If you go shoot just in Texas alone, it's a lot of schools, a lot of colleges, universities in Texas alone. So just think about that compared to everywhere else in this country. There's a lot of university in which most of these, the resources they have, like you have somewhere to lay your head, you have somewhere to go eat, you know? Even if somebody wanted to stay in school, that is still more resourceful than them being out on the streets. Because at least if I'm in school, at least I have somewhere to go and learn. I have somewhere to go and eat. I have somewhere to go and sleep. It's homeless people that probably don't didn't have the chance to get an education all because why the expense? And they're just out in the street. College has resources for people that they There's need. All the that we graduating doing. from school in Denmark, they wanna start cupcake cafes. <laughs> I wish that was correct because I love cupcakes. Unfortunately, it's not. It could be though, because according to Forbes list over countries with best opportunities for businesses, Denmark rates far better wow. than the US. So Trish, pretty much everything you said is untrue. Or, as your beloved president would put it, you are fake news. That's funny. That's great. I can't believe she tried to go for Denmark. 
she should have compared it Venezuela to America. Like, there's some things that goes on in this country. It shouldn't be. And really, if you think, like, even the resources we have here, the money we have here, some things shouldn't be. But there are. It sucks. It sucks. But, yeah, um, y'all know all that I know about Denmark. Uh, that's why I'm, like, I'm looking, too. Like, I know that's not true. I, I did my research. I know some things now, you know. In the beginning, I would have been like, oh, my, what, what, what the I know some things. Then, Mark, I got your back, too. I got your back, too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all top, top five, the happiest places to live, you know. Uh, um, Expensive-wise, probably top five, you know. But that's like taxes. At least you got, at least it's benefiting something. Something's going good, you know what I'm saying? Happiest, loving place to migrate to. So, but, yeah, she tripping. I'm telling y'all, the news here is not news no more. We got other sources. The news just be repeating stuff at this point. But that's all I have. appreciate the recommendation. Yeah, yeah, you can't can't come from Denmark. You know, they doing things right around there. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Be blessed, be the best, and be you. I'm out.